Why you should never wear a tie and 9 other shocking science facts. Hey Science Tellers, welcome to Science Deli, the channel where we tell you amazing facts about science that will make you say wow. Today, we are going to talk about 10 things that you probably didn't know about the world we live in. Are you ready? Let's go! Number 1. Did you know that wearing a tie can reduce blood flow to the brain by 7.5%? A study in 2018 found that wearing a necktie can reduce the blood flow to your brain by up to 7.5%, which can make you feel dizzy, nauseous, and cause headaches. They can also increase the pressure in your eyes if on too tight and are great at carrying germs. The researchers used MRI scans to measure the blood flow in the brains of 15 men who wore ties and 15 men who didn't. They found that the men who wore ties had a significant decrease in blood flow compared to the men who didn't. So. The next time you have to wear a tie, make sure it's not too tight and take it off as soon as you can. Number 2. Did you know that the fear of long words is called hippopotamin strozes quiptaliophobia? The 36-letter word was first used by the Roman poet Horace in the 1st century BCE to criticize those writers with an unreasonable penchant for long words. It was American poet Amy Nazukamatathil, possibly afraid of their own surname, who coined the term how we know it in 2000. The word is a combination of several Greek words that mean, fear of very large monstrous words. Ironically, the word itself is one of the longest words in the English language and can be very hard to pronounce. If you suffer from this phobia, you might want to avoid reading this word out loud. Number 3. Did you know that the world's oldest dog lived to 29.5 years old? While the median age a dog reaches tends to be about 10-15 years, one Australian cattle dog, Bluey, survived to the ripe old age of 29.5. Bluey was born in 1910 and worked as a sheepdog for 20 years before retiring. He died in 1939 and holds the Guinness World Record for the longest living dog ever. The secret to his longevity is unknown, but some say it was his diet of kangaroo and emu meat. The average lifespan of an Australian cattle dog is about 12-15 years, so Bluey was truly an exceptional dog. Number 4. Did you know that the world's oldest cat lived to 38 years and 3 days old? Creme Puff was the oldest cat to ever live. She was born in 1967 and died in 2005 in Austin, Texas. She was owned by Jake Perry, who also owned another cat named Grandpa Rex's Allen, who lived to 34 years and 2 months. Perry claimed that he fed his cats a diet of bacon, eggs, broccoli, coffee, and cream, as well as dry cat food. He also gave them vitamins, garlic, and iron supplements. The average lifespan of a domestic cat is about 15-20 years, so Cream Puff and Grandpa Rex's Allen were truly remarkable cats. Number 5. Did you know that the sun makes a sound but we can't hear it? In the form of pressure waves, the sun does make a sound. The wavelength of the pressure waves from the sun is measured in hundreds of miles, however, meaning they are far beyond the range of human hearing. The human ear can only hear sounds with wavelengths between 0.6 and 17 inches. The sound of the sun is also very loud, about 100 decibels, which is equivalent to a jet engine. However, we can't hear it because sound can't travel through the vacuum of space. The only way we can detect the sound of the sun is by using special instruments that can measure the vibrations of the sun's surface. Number 6. Did you know that Mount Everest isn't the tallest mountain on Earth? Mauna Kea and Mauna Loa in Hawaii, the twin volcanoes, are taller than Mount Everest due to 4.2 kilometers of their heights being submerged underwater. The twin volcanoes measure a staggering 10.2 kilometers in total, compared to Everest's paltry 4.6 kilometers. However, Everest is still the highest mountain above sea level, while Mauna Kea and Mauna Loa are only 4 kilometers above sea level. The reason why they are so tall is because they are part of a hotspot a region where magma rises from the mantle and creates volcanoes. The hotspot has been active for over 70 million years, creating the Hawaiian Islands. Number 7. Did you know that our solar system has a wall? The heliopause, the region of space in which solar wind isn't hot enough to push back the wind of particles coming from distant stars, is often considered the boundary wall of the solar system and interstellar space. The solar wind is a stream of charged particles that emanates from the sun and forms a bubble around the solar system. The heliopause is the point where the solar wind meets the interstellar medium, the matter and radiation that fills the space between the stars. 
The heliopause is about 120 astronomical units from the Sun, which is about four times the distance from the Sun to Neptune. The Voyager 1 and 2 spacecrafts are the only human-made objects that have crossed the heliopause and entered interstellar space. Number 8. Did you know that most maps of the world are wrong? On most maps, the Mercator projection, first developed in 1569 is still used. This method is wildly inaccurate and makes Alaska appear as large as Brazil and Greenland 14 times larger than it actually is. For a map to be completely accurate, it would need to be life-size and round, not flat. The Mercator projection is a way of representing the spherical Earth on a flat surface, but it distorts the size and shape of the continents and oceans. The reason why it is still used is because it preserves the angles and directions of the lines of longitude and latitude, which makes it useful for navigation and geography. However, there are other projections that are more accurate and fair, such as the Gall-Peters projection, the Robinson projection, or the Winkle-Tripel projection. Number 9. Did you know that NASA genuinely faked part of the moon landing? While Neil Armstrong's first steps on the lunar surface were categorically not faked, the astronaut quarantine protocol when the astronauts arrived back on Earth was just one big show. NASA was worried that the astronauts might bring back some harmful microbes or viruses from the moon, so they put them in a special trailer called the Lunar Receiving Laboratory for 21 days. However, they later admitted that the trailer was not airtight and the quarantine was not effective. They also said that the chances of the astronauts carrying any lunar pathogens were very low, as the moon is a sterile environment. The quarantine was mainly done to reassure the public and the government that the moon landing was safe and successful. Number 10. Did you know that comets smell like rotten eggs? A comet smells like rotten eggs, urine, burning matches, and almonds. Traces of hydrogen sulfide, ammonia, sulfur dioxide, and hydrogen cyanide were all found in the makeup of the comet 67P, churyumov gerasimenko Promotional postcards were even commissioned in 2016 carrying the pungent scent of a comet. The smell of a comet is caused by the volatile compounds that are released when the comet gets close to the sun and heats up. These compounds are the remnants of the primordial material that formed the solar system 4.6 billion years ago. By studying the smell of a comet, scientists can learn more about the origin and evolution of our cosmic neighborhood. So, there you have it, 10 amazing facts about science that you probably didn't know. We hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. If you did, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more Science Deli videos. And don't forget to share this video with your friends and family, and let us know in the comments which facts surprised you the most. Thanks for watching, and see you next time on Science Deli.